Hi, I'm Norma. I never tried to stand out or had a crush on anyone. In the evenings, I like to rewatch my favorite private diary episodes while cooking desserts. I also like taking part in quizzes and playing the cello. But one day, a new girl joined our orchestra. She played the clarinet and looked absolutely stunning. Wow, she's glowing! Hi, I'm Gloria. I just moved here. Where do all the cool guys in town hang out? Oh, you're asking the wrong person. Let me introduce myself. My name is Norma. I'm boring, also boring, and you guessed it, boring. See those clowns? You should ask them. Hmm. To my surprise, Gloria gave me a sly look. You're an interesting one, Norma. I know, you'll be my new project. What the what? My new project. You're single because you look like a sack of potatoes. Let me work my magic on you and all the boys will be yours. No thanks, you can have them. Let me know if you change your mind. I thought Gloria would forget about me after that. I couldn't have been more wrong. During the break, the meanest girls in the orchestra, Sam and Jill, got bored. Whenever that happened, they bullied me to have some fun. Norma, you should think about changing your name to Shaved Skunk. Hmm, isn't that your nickname? What? Did you forget your place? You are way too full of yourselves for girls with pores the size of lunar craters. Leave Norma alone or I'll show you how sharp my nails are. You pissed off the wrong girls, newbie. Let's go, Jill. Thanks, but I can stand up for myself, you know? I picked up the sheet music and ignored Gloria. When I came out into the hallway after the rehearsal, I saw her trying to open her clarinet mm -hmm. case to no avail. <sighs> What's the matter? I went to the bathroom for a few minutes, and by the time I got back, someone had put super glue into the case locks. I bet you five bucks Sam and Jill did it. You shouldn't have messed with them. I'm not afraid of those stupid caterpillars. You got hurt because you stood up for me. Come over to my place. I'll help you open the case. Sounds tempting. As soon as I opened the front door, Mom ran outside and almost knocked us off <gasps> our feet. I'm running late. Don't wait up for me and order pizza for dinner, sweetie. Love you. How was my day? Well, thanks for asking, Mom. <laughs> Where's the fire? I didn't even run the shoe sales that fast. She's probably on her way to a date again. Mom just can't seem to find a good man. So that's why you're afraid of falling in love. You don't want to get your heart broken like your mom. No boys, no problems, huh? <laughs> I haven't met anyone special yet, that's all. Stop psychoanalyzing me. Let's eat. I treated Gloria to a lemon pie that I made myself. Mmm, it's delicious. I heard there was going to be a pie contest at the city fair. You've got to participate. No thanks, I don't like being the center of attention. I noticed that. No offense, you're a great girl, but you're a bit plain. How about this? Let me help you transform. Your life doesn't change after that. I'll leave you alone. But if something amazing happens to you, you'll take part in the contest and thank me. It was a win-win situation for me, so mm. I agreed. Then we opened Gloria's case and she left. That night, mom came home late. Her crying woke me up. Guess the new boyfriend was a jerk too. Poor mom. To my surprise, <gasps> Gloria came over early the next morning. How do you look so good at seven in the morning? What's that? My magic suitcase. Inside it were cosmetics, hair products, clothes, and other things mm -hmm. that, according to Gloria, would make me irresistible. <sighs> she spent a lot of time doing her magic. By the time she was satisfied, my own mother didn't recognize me. She dropped her <gasps> coffee when she saw me. Can you believe it? Who are you and what did you do to my daughter? I didn't know you were hiding a perfect figure under all those baggy clothes of yours. She's gorgeous, right? I'm a miracle worker. Okay, I've got to run to school. See you at the rehearsal. Wait, do you want to go to a quiz of me tonight? Nah, I'm going to be busy looking for the guy of my dreams. I haven't been on a date in a whole week. That's unacceptable. Kill me if I ever become like you. Get ready, baby. You're going to get a lot of admirers today. I saw Gloria off and came back to mom. I heard you crying last night. Was the date terrible again? On the contrary, Richard is amazing. We had a wonderful time. I was crying with happiness. Mom was clearly on cloud nine. I hadn't seen such a bright smile on her face in ages. Unfortunately, I wasn't sure that would last long. That day at school was very weird. Mm. Everyone stared at me, oh. and I felt like a painting in a gallery. Besides, I wasn't comfortable in the tiny clothes Gloria had dressed me in and kept adjusting them. Baby, you look like you stepped straight out of my dreams. 
Do you want company for tonight? Leave me alone! Jeez, I attracted less attention back when I had a piece of broccoli stuck in my teeth and spent a whole day unaware of it. Hello, cello. You forgot your music notebook at rehearsal yesterday. Thanks. Do I know you? Wow, we've been playing in the same orchestra for a year now, but you don't even know my name. I'm Thomas. That's right, you play the violin. Yeah, you look great, Norma. If you're free tonight, we could... No, we couldn't. You didn't even let me finish. Read my lips. Get lost. There's no need to be so rude. I know, I know. I was too rude. But what else was I supposed to do? Thomas only hit on me because Gloria covered me with a ton of makeup and made me wear a mini skirt. That shallow moron fell for a bright wrapper. Thomas laughed, disappointed. But from that moment on, I started to see him everywhere. In the dining room, in class, after school, we ended up in the same coffee shop. Hmm? I thought it was all a coincidence until Thomas came to the same quiz as me that evening. Do you think this is funny? What? Going to quizzes? Uh, yeah, I think it's fun. I'm talking about you following me around. Cut it out before I lose it. You lose it a lot, don't you? Jerk! Hmm? When I got back home, I saw Mom's new boyfriend. <sighs> he came over for a visit. Sweetie, this is Richard Patterson. He owns an auto repair shop near your school. It's nice to meet you, Norma. Yeah, sure. Sweetie, could you be a bit friendlier? Richard paid for a week-long stay at a spa hotel for me. By the way, I want you to live with an old friend of mine until I get back. Mom, I'm an adult. I don't need a babysitter. You will be an adult when you leave for college. Don't argue with me. You guys chat. I'm going to make us lemonade. Is something wrong? I don't trust you. You're too perfect. Don't you dare lie to Mom. Her heart has already been broken too many times. Norma, my feelings for your mother are real. I'm not a little girl anymore, Mr. Patterson. I don't believe in fairy tales. Here's the lemonade. What were you talking about? The weather. Mm -hmm. Before going to bed, Gloria texted me and asked me how everyone reacted to my new look. I hated it. This one guy wouldn't leave me alone the whole day. He was obsessed. Congratulations, he has a crush on you. He just liked my new look. We've been going to the same school and playing in the same orchestra for ages, but he only noticed me now. I don't want a boyfriend like that. I'm also worried about my mom's new boyfriend. Mm. There's something wrong with Mr. Patterson. I could help you find out more about him if you want, but I actually need your help too. A cool guy called Mason asked me out on a double date. He's coming with his friend and asked me to bring a friend along too. Will you help me out? A date was the last thing on my mind. But I like the fact that Gloria considered me a friend. Before I met her, my only friend was my cello. Okay, I hope Mason's friend isn't a jerk. Thank you, baby. I'm sending you a virtual hug. The next evening, Gloria and I came to an amusement park. Mason was already waiting for us there. Wow, that guy was one in a million. Mm. Handsome, athletic, and gallant. It's so nice to meet you. You two look very pretty. Let me introduce you to my friend. You again? Gloria, I'm leaving. Boys, she's joking. What's got into you? Thomas is a cool guy. I saw him in our orchestra. He's the guy I told you about. So what? Bear with it for one evening. I'll take care of Mr. Patterson tomorrow. Please, Norma. I like Mason. I don't want him to slip away. I gritted my teeth but agreed. For Gloria's sake. While she was talking to Mason, Thomas bent over backwards trying to impress me. He treated me huh. to a caramel apple and won a plush toy for me in a shooting gallery. After that, we paired off for the tunnel of love. I don't know what I did to annoy you, Norma, but I really like you. What oh. happened to Thomas? He tried to kiss me and I slapped him. Bro, that's not cool. I was just... Oh, forget it. I've had enough. I'm leaving. Let me walk you home and make sure you're safe. Um, what about Gloria? You're like, on a date? You should walk her home. That's all right. My parents are picking me up anyway. Since my friend didn't mind, I threw one less glare at Thomas and followed Mason. This is me. Thanks for walking me home. I like you better than Gloria. She's way too cocky. Mason, you are very sweet and funny, but my friend has a crush on you. There can't be anything between us. Good night. The next day, before going to the spa hotel, Mom dropped me off at her friend, Miss Long's place. Make yourself at home, Norma. We're having lunch soon. I left my bag in the guest room and went to the bathroom to wash my hands. Then I got a text from Mason. 
I've been thinking about you all night. Is there any chance you changed your mind about going on a date with me? I couldn't believe what was happening. Mason liked me. The strangest thing was that I liked him back. But how would Gloria react to it? Hmm. Then I heard a rustle and realized there was someone else in the room besides me. <gasps> Thomas, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I was just taking a shower in my house. Hmm. So Miss Long was Thomas's mom? What the heck? Uh, Norma. What now? I forgot to bring a towel. Could you hand it to me? No way, keep dreaming. I called my friend and told her about my disaster of a day. Gloria, I'm stuck in a house with a guy who was obsessed with me because of my stupid new look. Stuck? Can't you just leave? Mom wants me to stay with her friend this week, but her friend is Thomas's mom. So what's the big deal? Are you serious? I'll explode like a pressure cooker if he tries to kiss me again. Chill, you just need a distraction. You said something about your mom's suspicious boyfriend. Want to spy on him? Finally, a good idea. I love you too, Miss Thorne. <laughs> We came to Mr. Patterson's auto repair shop and hid, but Gloria couldn't stay silent for longer than three minutes. I really like Mason. It's weird that he still hasn't asked me out on a second date. There's something you should know about him. I showed her the text from Mason and told her we felt a connection between us. Gloria's glare made me uneasy. How could he fall for you? I look like a million bucks and you only look like a thousand bucks. I think Mason likes me as a person. Maybe what's inside is much more important than what we look like? I've never heard anything dumber. I made you hot, and you saw my boyfriend, you snake. Huh. She took her anger out on me and left. Our fight wasn't the worst thing that happened that day, though. Soon, I saw Mr. Patterson hugging a woman. Can you imagine? Ugh, another vile liar. No one can be trusted. I decided that I would tell Mom about it as soon as she got home. For some reason, Mason came to my mind. He seemed like the only good guy among shallow morons. Hi, I've thought about it, and the city's fair is tomorrow. Let's go together. It's like you read my mind. I wanted to suggest the same thing. I was doing homework that evening when Thomas knocked on my door. Norma, can we talk? Would you leave me alone? Judging by the retreating footsteps, Thomas laughed. I looked at myself in the mirror. All I've got after changing is a bunch of problems and an annoying admirer. It's time to end this. Feeling like myself again, I breathed a sigh of relief. The next evening, I went on a date with Mason without dressing up. Baby, are you sick? Why do you look so terrible? Where's the hot girl I fell for? What? I thought you liked me as a person. <laughs> I don't even remember your name. Sorry, I don't want to be seen with such an ugly duckling. Bye. Wow, wow. Look, the carriage just turned back into a pumpkin. <laughs> oh, not you two. Leave me alone. I can't take this right now. We're just getting started. <laughs> Sam and Jill cornered me. But then... Oh, why aren't you melting? Aren't you witches? <laughs> you psycho, you ruined our makeup and hair. Run away before someone sees you then. Those mean girls will try to get back at you again. So what? I won't let anyone hurt my friend. Are we friends? best friends. No guy will come between us again. Norma, I heard what Mason said. I don't want to think about him. You were right. Looks don't matter. I always dressed up and put on makeup to make boys like me, but but now I want to take a break from that and focus on myself. We made up and heard <sighs> the winner of the pie contest being announced. It was... Thomas? I didn't even know you liked cooking. You don't know anything about me at all. You didn't even give me a chance. I realized long ago we have a lot in common. We play in the same orchestra, like the same coffee shop and quizzes. I like you, Norma. I've always liked you. What? I thought you only noticed me after I changed. I've always been there. You're the one who didn't notice me. I only plucked up the courage to talk to you after you forgot your notebook at practice, that's all. Anyway, I'm glad you look like yourself again. You're as beautiful in a hoodie as you are in a tight dress. I think that's my cue to leave. <laughs> my happiness had always been right in front of me, but I was so busy hiding in my shell, I didn't notice it. But now I found it. Thomas and I were making an apple pie in the kitchen when mom and that bastard Mr. Patterson walked in. I'm back. Let's go home, Norma. I hope you had a good time because I need to tell you something. Let me introduce you. This is Natalie, Richard's sister. Sister? Oh. 
So, what did you want to tell me, honey? Just that I'm very happy for you, Mom.